well in today's session i am going to talk about the impact factor of journal uh, when any researcher or academicians they are involved in writing research papers and they are keen to write very good scientific uh, research articles or research papers so they are supposed to know about the impact factor of the journals otherwise there is no need to know there is no need to ascertain the impact factor of journals if you are not focused on writing very good quality research papers so in today we are going to discuss about what is the meaning of the impact factor and later on i will let you know how the impact factor of journal is calculated by the peers by the editorial board and how is this calculated and what is the impact of the high impact factor on the researchers so let's uh, move on and i will let you know some basic things about the impact factor of journal first thing is that it is uh, related with the i'm just going to write it uh, firstly and then i will explain it is related with the you know number of citations number of citations during uh, previous two years in some of the journals you will find that uh, the, the number of citations they take from previous five years but nowadays all the scopus index or if you go through the clary weight analysis or or uh, other you know scientific quality journals you will uh, come to know that they calculate the impact factor on the basis of the previous two years so that is why i am gonna write here that impact factor of journal that is related with number of citations during previous two years number of citations uh, i already explained when i uh, was you know uh, discussing about the how to write research papers and uh, the uh, literature review so again just uh, if you come to know what is the meaning of number of citations number of citations hota hai aapke jab aap research paper likhte hain to agar koi dusra researcher jab aapki research publish ho jati hai aur usme se aapko quote karta hai ki yes Dr. So and so, Professor So and so, in this year and from this journal, he and and in this year he mentioned uh, this and this. Okay, any theorem or any you know mathematical model or any literature review, any any kind of the things. So he could mention from that uh, particular research paper. So that is known as the citation. So related with number of citations during previous two years and. and also it is required also it is required to know the number of research papers published number of research papers uh, published during that period of time so here Uh, number of is to know required number of research uh, uh, research know the number of research papers published during that period of time published uh, during previous two. years so you will understand here that how the research paper is now calculated so firstly i will what going to do i will write the formula the impact factor okay is equal to that will be number of citations i'm trying trying to do it in very easy manner so that you will understand that how the research, how the impact factor of any journal is calculated sometimes you know there are there are predatory journals prevalent okay in that in an academic world also and they mention that the uh, the impact factor is 7.5 and researchers to an extent they believe it but it doesn't happen because when you actual uh, actually find out the uh, you know number of citations you will find very less number of citations during that that uh, period of years but still it is showing the high high impact factor 5.8 7.9 as compared to the original ones right so the number of citations divided by 
here I will going to mention total number of research total number of research published okay and the time period is which I have already mentioned over here time period is two years so you no need to write again and again time period is for two years time periods for two years so during that period of uh, time of two years uh, whatsoever number of citations took place which will be divided by the total number of research published in those two years so this will give you the actual impact factor of the journal which is very very important to understand okay so for an example I am just uh, gonna tell you this is the current year I am writing here the current year is 2020 okay and also mentioned the previous first year the uh, the previous first previous uh, first year yeah, what is what is that 2019 okay and uh, the previous second year is obviously 2018 okay so here what I am going to do I will just uh, see that uh, what are the number of citations and what are the number of uh, the okay so here what I am going to write I am writing here research published total number of years I here I am meant to say research published in uh, uh, 2019 so a for an example if I write 150 research papers published in 2019 and also here write uh, research uh, published in 2018 is for example say 170 okay right here again research published and here citations number of here I am meant to, to say citations in in 2019 for example if I say 345 citations took place that means some researchers they cited from those articles published in 2019 were 345 and here citations took place for an example out of 170 research papers these are all assumed figures okay and we will see what is the overall impact so total number of researches in both the two years what what are those so here write the impact factor is equal to number of citations how many number of citations took place so here what will uh, come here here it will come um, two and uh, six oh sorry six okay 621 from where I have uh, can't taken this this total of this okay total of this okay let me again verify it okay 621 and here 150 plus uh, this total number of research took place 150 plus 170 okay how much is that how much is that uh, just it is it will be like this divided by and uh, 320 okay so again enter and this will give you the calculation of your the impact factor okay so the impact factor is equal to 621 divided by 320 so let me just uh, take help from the calculator and we will divide 621 6 to 1 
divided by 3 to 0. Let us see what exactly comes here. 1.94. So 1.1.94 is the impact factor of the journal. So it is now there is nothing good nothing bad about the impact factor there is no ideal impact factor as such it depends upon journal to journal but there should be the originality sometimes there are predatory journals and they do not know even the editorial board doesn't know how to calculate the impact factor and they keep on mentioning in all kinds of uh, you know the their additions that the impact factor is 6.4 5.9 like that so they ha should have this moral of honesty that the exact number of uh, citations uh, should they mention and the total number of research published and the total number of citations divided by total number of researches and that will give you the impact factor.